Hello everyone, my name is Andy Tabor and I am Matthew Hunley's best man. Now some of you may know Matthew as uh, simply Matthew, Matt, Matt H, H, or Huntsman, but I'm willing to bet I'm the only person who knows him by all of those names. That's because Matt and I have been best friends since we both starred on the baseball diamond for the Rockies and were A-plus students in Mr. Palmasano's fourth grade class. <laughs> Huntsman and I became quick friends doing what all fourth graders do, trading baseball cards, playing copious amounts of video games, and beating up on our little brothers. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. <laughs> Over the next year and a half, we went from quick friends to best friends. We enjoyed many lunch dates together at the Cottonville Deli, thanks to Mr. Hunley. <laughs> we were on the same blanket tossing team in the fifth grade talent show, and we even accidentally locked ourselves in the Hunley's car trying to avoid a thunderstorm in the middle of the Texas summer. We were essentially attached to the hip until the unthinkable happened in the sixth grade. Andy, my family is moving to San Diego. And no, you can't come with me. <laughs> Hearing the news was devastating, but I was committed to making sure our romance continued, despite the distance. After an extremely successful Huntsman Day at Speed Zone, we said our goodbyes and braced for life apart. Throughout the next seven years, we stayed in touch through AOL Instant Messenger and our fantasy football message board. <laughs> Eventually, when we both got cell phones, I got the courage to ask for Huntsman's number so we could start texting and having periodic phone calls. <laughs> These conversations led to occasional visits with me traveling to San Diego and Huntsman traveling back to where our friendship first began, Coppell, Texas. For two 12-year-old boys to maintain this type of long-distance relationship for seven years, it really shows the care and genuine investment we had in each other's well-being. <laughs> And then college happened. <laughs> Matt H. and I chose to attend the University of Missouri, and we even decided to room together in Hatch Hall, room 804. Yeah. Shout out to the penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> Although we were already roommates, we were able to get even closer when we started playing flag football on the same team. Matt H. was the ultra-consistent center, and I was the gunslinging quarterback. I'll never forget, during our worst season together, throwing Matt H. a game-winning touchdown pass to win our only game of the season. Sadly, college only lasted four years, but we really made the most of it. Thursday night study halls at Bengals Bar and Grill. Early morning cram sessions at Piano Bar. And the all-day Saturday tutoring appointments near Faroe Field really made our parents proud. In the midst of all the fun H and I were having, another relationship was blossoming as well. You see, Chelsea Crankiola too lived on the eighth floor of our dorm room, or dorm hall. And the summer after our glorious freshman year, H stayed in Columbia, and I moved to St. Louis for the summer. Although I was able to make it back to Columbia to celebrate H's 20th birthday, Chelsea and H were clearly fostering something beyond just a friendship. I knew it was something more when Chelsea would take H to the airport two hours away multiple times throughout the summer. <laughs> you don't just do that for anyone, am I right? <laughs> Anyways, when H texted me the following on October 20th, 2011. <laughs> Quote, please don't tell anyone this until we put it out there, but I'm dating Chelsea now. <laughs> My prophecy had come true. <laughs> but more importantly, I was thrilled that my best friend had found someone as amazing as Chelsea. Chelsea, you are one of the most nicest, most compassionate individuals I've ever had the pleasure of calling my friend. You bring so much light and positivity to the world and H is extremely fortunate to be in a position to experience it every day. H, look at me. <laughs> you're not only a man of many names, you're a man of many talents. And I know being my best friend cannot be easy, yet you've been here every step of the way. Your versatility as a friend knows no limits, as you can be serious, silly, understanding, calming, among countless other traits. You've always been the stable foundation in our friendship, and I know you'll be the same in your marriage to Chelsea. 
Mr. and Mrs. H, you are the perfect match. A toast to Matt and Chelsea.